Welcome back, friends, to episode 9 of the UIM. Currently gearing up for Perilous Moons. Right now, we're on a mission to escape barrels by finishing a melee set. So I can get some much-needed looting bag space. In between, though, we're working on various upgrades like barrels gloves. Don't forget to like the video if you are enjoying it, as it does help the series out. Lots of good twists and turns in this episode, so enjoy. Oh, what? First chest back in a while, and we got an Aram Staff. Well, we're at 12 out of 25, and we have yet to complete a full set, so... Oh my god, Torax Helm! Okay, okay, we could work with that. Because that's 3 out of 4 Torax. Shit, I don't have space, though. Oh, no. It's starting to spell over. So, we're at 3 out of 4 Torax, 3 out of 4 Vrax. That means if I get Torax Hammer, we're good. Or Vrax Skirt, we're good. All right, don't tease me now. Just just finish one of these sets, please. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> Not the Frax skirt. Money, though. I'm going to out this. Yes. Oh, man, it's so weird. Going to be ending the night with some AFK fishing and cooking as we prepare for the Monkey Madness portion of Recipe for Disaster, mainly Sony cooking. Also, a bunch of quests left to do for RFD, like Underground Pass, so I worked on some of those before resuming the Barrels Grind the next day. Hell yeah, just got our first level of 60. 66 would be nice for Swan Song eventually. There's some clue steps there that we could do. Nice. Our first cooking level, guys. I am uh, 50 thieving, so... Easy. Nice. Don't have to take damage. Oh man, that's so nice doing Underground Pass so late. Hey, Underground Pass done. Yay. Another quest done for Legends. So that means we have Heroes Quest left. And I think I'll do that tomorrow. Yo, Big Chompy, Bur Hunting is done. Alright, let's do like a few. Nice, we got one done. Let's move on to another one. There we go, another quest done. I guess we could just speed run to Mythal Gloves right now. Yeah, there we go. Nice little trick. We're getting back into the Wizard Tower a little faster. That's another one done. I guess it's not just in Trana that's going to be uh, annoying. Because I have to suicide. Also, freaking this going underwater for this RFD part. Alright. Everything was smoothie until I had to death file for this. And then we got to do it another time at least tomorrow. There we go. Last quest for today. Yay. Two more. And of course, those are the two hardest. Oh, shit. Never mind. I can even do adamant gloves. Oh, even better. Please, please. Oh my god, no way, Darox? Oh shit. We still gained some nice stuff. That Darox axe, honestly, I thought it was going to be a troll, but this is actually really good. For two things, torment to demons in the future, and uh, Hydra combat achievements, if we ever make it that far. Oh god, it's so accurate, man. Oh, 29. Nice, we can hit 29s now. Without boost. Our melee setup is getting getting along. There we go. That's gonna give us 51 or blur. Holy three XP lamps. Thank you, random vet. Oh wait, did we hit 250? Dang, that was our 250 KC too. Oh nice, just hit 80 magic. Let's go. It's getting late, so I'm gonna grab some quick and tasty dinner while I do some AFK fishing and cooking. Well, you can also get some nice dinner, fast and convenient, by checking out today's sponsor. Factor is a meal subscription service that provides a wide range of delicious tasting food. It's healthier than fast food and costs less than ordering food online. You can choose between 35 plus weekly meals that are delivered to you fresh and never frozen. The meals offer cover many dietary preferences. This week's been busy so I ordered a bunch of Factor meals. I had the herbed Greek chicken and tomato penne today and it was delicious and boosted my energy levels immediately. I've never had more free time on my schedule to get more done thanks to Factor. Click the link below and use the code on screen to get 50% off your first Factor box and also 20% off next month's order too. Using my code also helps support the rights fields as well for double the gains. Alright, we got 7 more cooking loaves to go. Man, I'm gonna lie, this spot is so freaking good guys. 64 cooking to end the night. 
Nice, 62 fishing. There we go. Oh, monkfish. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Swan song? Oh, I can actually do this quest. Or a clue scroll now. In the future. Alright, boys. We hit 65 cooking. And look at this. Members can now cook pineapple pizza and make wives Amy. The pineapple pizza is actually really important. Because on the Ultimate Iron Man, I can do the whole Sidious uh, mess hall cooking method. Which is insane. Like, best cooking XP per hour on the Ultimate all right nice all right that's gonna be the last fishing level for now what no way i actually got aram's top <laughs> yo 76 attack nice we're getting some cheeky levels the fact that we're getting these levels means we've been here a bit too long now i think it's time to escape prison soon oh no way gutton's body Oh my god, I keep getting like all these items right now, boys. Ah, you don't know anymore, dude. Now we're. Well, two out of four got this, so it's not like close. We're basically collection logging at the moment, boys. Alright, here's another chest. What? Oh, yes! Let's go! I did it! I did it! Oh my god, I completed it. Yo, full Torax it is. We're free, boys. I'm not ready though. I am not ready to out all these extra items though, man. Oh, this is gonna hurt though. All right, let's go for the back to back first. Here we go. Okay, we didn't get shit. Oh, I got it. Oh my god, yes. Okay. Actually, I have a plus two boost. Maybe if I get lucky, I can maybe make the one in the Warrior Skill too. It's worth it though. I really will be using that Warrior Gill stash very soon. Like, in the next couple days, even, so... I'm trying to preserve this boost. Make it all the way. Oh, we're so close. Let's do this. Yes! Let's freaking go. I made two Master Stash units with one boost. Alright, so... Now that we've done the Stash part, it is time to... Manipulate the inventory once again. And in the meantime, while I'm Death Piled, I'm also gonna work on the Hero's Quest portion, because of the Entrana step that i have to do so we'll get that out of the way and it's important because i i need to do that for dragon battle axe recipe for disaster wreck as well yay okay another mandatory intrana visit done okay let's get on with our inventory cleaning boys spring cleaning i call it there we go ah look at that beautiful nice so our looting bag is looking good we have four spaces left before I do that, I guess I'm going to make sure I store the uh, barrels, uh, the set before I do that. So I don't accidentally out the wrong stuff. So we can complete one of the hardest elite tasks ever, which is loot barrels chest while wearing any complete set. So we're going to do that now. We got the Torax. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, that's task done. And then the fun part, watch this. Store the Torax set like that. Oof, that's so cool. This is it, boys. It's time to say goodbye to, uh, to all this. This is messed up. <laughs> this is how we have to do it. We gotta get used to it, man. But look at our cash stack, though. Look at our cash stack. 500k or something. Back. And we still managed to keep some of these beautiful items for now. Get some nice, decent tank gear and put it back if we don't need it. But we're not done yet. I gotta set up a nice transport method to get here fast. Right now, the entrance to the chest is so far away from the ladder. It's like all the way over there. So we're going to try to set up in the next run. We're going to do one more run, but not actually complete it. Oh, God, it's Derox. Okay, I'm going to purposely mess this up. Because I'm trying to get the right door. Oh, this is it. Yes, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so we have reset enough times now that the entrance to the chest is right next to the ladder. Now we can work towards our next goal, which is the Hero's Quest into Barrel's Gloves. So that one's going to be another nice adventure, but not so RNG, thankfully. Shout out to Mr. Sash CJ here for the help. Fellow Ultimate Iron Man Senpai here. Hero Quest done, and we get so much XP. Did we level up at all? Hey, 77 range. Let's go. Whoa, Scorching Bow. The new bow, the demon slaying bow. Legends quests. 
Doesn't seem too bad. I thought I might not have space for all this stuff, but it looks like I do. Of course, put everything on Herbler. Just gotta find it. I found it. There you go. 30,000. Oh my god. This is uh, the first time I've taken advantage of the buffed experience. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right, let's do this again on our blur. Two, another two levels, 55. Yo, so close. Jesus, man, that's insane. 120,000 XP in our blur, basically. 57. Oh, nice. This is for Fairy Tale Part 2. We should do that, like, soon. Because I, I can actually make a fairy in my house, which is actually really nice. I should probably get to that. Damn, that's freaking awesome. Holy, we got seven freaking levels. Oh, there it is. A hey, fairy tale two done. That means we can make the fairy rings in the house. All right. Luckily, getting the mushrooms for the fairy ring is so easy because of the silly skips. So we're just going to get a bunch right now. And we might do this for some uh, lamps in the future if we are short on fossils, because this is also the fastest way to get the fossils. As you can see, look, I, I just say fossils and it's already there. And it's also really good woodcutting XP, if I recall. It's actually one of the best woodcutting XPs in the game. Yeah, this Wally Cat is so freaking nice. I'm so happy that I invested in the Wally Hellcat. Luckily, it's not a plus five. Oh, we got it. Hey, let's go. Wait, watering can? And, and with water? All right, let me log out so I can reset this. Yes. Oof. The log out trick, baby. We got it. Hey, that's pretty sick, man. Fairing on the house already on, on such a new account. All right, boys. Apparently, we didn't even finish Legends Quest because there's a fifth XP reward. Oh, never mind. It's four. Okay, we just didn't talk to him again. There we go. Legends Quest is done. And as far as the Barrels Gloves is concerned here, we are really close now. Close, close, close. All right, we're going to work on this. And then we get our 70 cooking, hopefully, soon after that. And then we can finish this annoying one here. Nice, boys. We got another level. Four more to go, guys. I'm probably going to switch over to AFK Lobsters a bit, though, because, yeah, this is a little too fast-paced sometimes to work on some other stuff that I have to do. But, but it is very effective, though, still. All right, well, we're going to switch to Lobsters here and there because way more AFK. I believe 64 or so with cooking gauntlets. You don't burn it, so. There we go. 66. Hell yeah. Two more levels to go. Feels weird dropping lobsters, guys. Like, for real. Nice. 71 farming. There's only 70 cooking left to do for RFD, but I wanted to get some more active goals that were close to finishing before I go back to AFK. So I decided to go for 58 Slayer and unlock the Slayer Helm as my next active goal. I have already access to the Dragon Battle Axe via Hero's Quest and Dragon Defender, which means that if I get the Slayer Helmet, I can combo those three items and store it in a particular Master Stash unit inside the Warriors Guild. By the way, I already prepared the Stash unit recently. Holy shit, I can already hit a 40? All right, since we're going to go for four Slayer levels and I can also very soon store the Dragon Battle Axe in the stash unit, let's buy one. This is going to be really nice because watch this, right? If you haven't seen this before, I'm sure you have. 17 strength bonus. I'm going to be hitting like 40 pluses. Yo, 55 Slayer. Lesser Naguya. Ah, I see. Oh, they got rid of it. Nice. There used to be a stupid cap where you can only like make two at a time. Oh, there it is. 46. Look at that. Crazy. Oh, cool. I got sulfur blades. That's sick. I'm pretty sure these are like probably best in slot here. Because you do four bonus damage every hit. So I guess I can use this for a little bit. Thanks. So nice being able to... Go straight to the fairy ring and then go straight to corner like this. Nice. Just hit 77 attack. There it is. 56. Now we can kill warp creatures, which will happen soon. Yo, 84 hit points. Nice. Oh, and 57 slayer. Oh my god, the back to back. Yes. One more level to go. Yo, we just hit 100 combat and 78 attack. Let's go. Triple digits. 
58 Slayer, baby. Cave Horrors. That was not too bad. Only took a few hours to get all the way from 54, 58. But yeah, it's time to quest. We may be able to get the Black Mass soon, but I need 400 Slayer points so I can make the ability or have the ability to make the Slayer Home. Because I can only store Slayer Home. I can't store Black Mass. Before I continue any more Slayer, guys, I think it's time to do one perilous moon because i want to store the magic short bow we're not doing any range anymore and right now we have a d skim and we can definitely get rid of the d skim now i held on to the d skim via the blue moon storage tech because i wanted to complete a combat achievement task that requires killing all three moons bosses with the d skim only and now i can easily do this task because i have full tank armor thanks to barrels so we're going to get that done now, and then I can get rid of the D-Skin for good and store something else like my MSB. Like, there's no way the Blood Moon is going to troll us this time. Look at our defense, guys. We're so goddamn tanky. 300 on, like, everything, all right? So this is going to be the freest combat achievements ever with the D-Skin. Let's go. Yo, look at that, guys. I only use, like, three food for a Blood Moon. This is this is it boys. This is why barrels is so important. Cause now we can actually grind this uh whenever. As soon as we wrap up with the other stuff, we can grind this. But we should be able to finish the CAs now for the Dragon Skimitar. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Back to our roots. Defeat all three moons in one run by attacking only with the Dragon Skimitar. Okay, so that's completed now. So we can safely out this D skim. No problem. And also, we can just buy it back in the future, so it's fine. But the D skim has served us well. All right, just waiting. Oh, there we go. Special activated. Okay, our MSB is gone. Now we log out. If you guys haven't seen this trick before, well, we'll show you. Log out. The MSB is stored. Uh, the Slayer stuff is definitely taking a bit longer than I expected for the storage stuff, but it's okay. We're back at the AFK for the barrels gloves at least. A69 cooking. One more to go. Hey guys, we just hit 68 fishing. That means we access fishing gill. Actually quite important for a few things in the future. The easiest one is definitely a hard clue step. But the other one is access to minnows. There we go. The last lobster. 70 cooking. Beautiful. Admiral pie, but of course it's for the freaking snake thing for recipe for disaster so we're probably gonna move on though from fishing and cooking afk i'm gonna go back to star mining because i want to finish that 61 crafting for luna diplomacy and then we can afk some crafting uh soonish right recipe for disaster let's get it going oh dude there's always these hidden entrana parts of the quest man all right this is gonna be worse than monkey menace Part, I guess. Because we gotta die again, dude. Mm. Just gonna have to die and uh, reobtain the items again. Okay, finally, we are back. There we go. Hopefully, guys, we can get this Grigri because I have it stored at the Zuknu dude. I just never took that Grigri out from when I completed Monkey Madness. So hopefully, if I talk to him now, he's gonna give me a Grigri -Gri, like instantly. Hey, look, see, it works. I got it. Oh, dude, that's sick. Look at that, guys. Okay, we're gonna give Zuknuk the bone one more time, and that's it. Honestly, Jawsig is so good for Ultimate Iron Man because just random stuff, you know, like that you need for quests often. Oh, it looks like it's good. Hey, can I just cook the rest? I guess uh, I'll just cook the rest. Free cooking XP, baby. We're ready for the barrels close. One more fight. I'm going to bring my uh, Torax to make it easy for me. Ouch, man. Jeez, this guy hurts. <laughs> this is pretty, uh, pretty ass. But it works. This is the first time doing something like this. It's kind of not bad. Okay, we're gonna need a different strat. We're gonna have to just do it the melee route, I think. Yeah, now my stats are too low to risk it. Oh, nice. Huge start. 32. But yeah, we're just gonna keep drinking attack and strength pots every time my stat goes down. Get a 13. 
Hey, there we go. Nice. He is done. You are done, mate. Oh my god, he's 25 though. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, XP lamp as well. Put down an herbal, of course. Does that get us a level? A 59 herbal or two bonus reward. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Barrel's gloves in the freaking chest. A oh, whole huge upgrade from the adamant gloves. All right, let's get back to Slayer. We need to get the 400 Slayer points and work towards that Slayer helm now. Do, 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 do. All right, might as well finish Edgar's Ruse because I already have that like half completed. We're going to have to do this anyways for Luna Diplomacy and get ourselves 60 Herblers. Really nice. That's really good. That's a cool ass milestone, dude. 60 on the Ultimate Iron Man without making potions. Also unlocked uh, the Trollheim Telly, which is nice. I realized that getting a black mask now would actually speed up going for the points to make the Slayer Helmet. So it was smart to get that black mask. It is time to quest and start grinding for it. Alright, finish the task. Holy shit. Nice. Okay, one out of three quests done. Dang, man. We missed on the spider, fever spider uh, hype, guys. <laughs> nice. We did the rum deal. Let's go. There we go, another quest done. 59 crafting, sick. Already got some stardust as you can see, but yeah. All right, let's go and get this black mask, guys. Oh shit. I think by the start of tomorrow, I will probably have enough stardust. All right, we're done with AFKing for now. I'm pretty sure this should be enough stardust to get the last two crafting levels that we need. Ooh, what we get? Oh, yo, that's so good. Oh my God. Yes, I really wanted this. Holy storable amulet, boys. Oh my god. And, and the beret, you know. Don't forget about that. Looking cute. Yes. Alright, I put the old power amulet into this dash unit, so. Oh, nice. We got 79 attack. We are now over the rate. Oh, I got it. Yes. Hell yeah, that wasn't too bad. A little bit over the draw rate. 675. Hell yeah. Oh my god, 46. What else can we hit? But the zombie axe slayer home combo melts them. Oh, we just hit 59 slayer. Let's go. Oh, nice. We did it. 80 attack. Let's go. Wow, look at these weapons that I unlocked. If I had it. Let's move on to some defense training, guys. Oh, nice. 71 defense. Feels good, man. There we go. Oh, 60 Slayer. I actually got it. Wow. And a clean 1600 total. I did not see that coming. All right. So this should be a RD diary task. Yep. There you go. Okay. Now we can clear this. We want to plant the white berry here. Oh, two shot and 72 defense. Let's go. Oh, average specter is actually perfect. As of today, I feel like we really pimped out every aspect of our gear slot. So. For today's AFK, I am going to just be woodcutting. I think it's a good idea to just get 75 woodcutting out of the way because I do need to get some magic logs for some other grinds in the future, like Monkey Madness 2. So it'd be nice to just have that sorted. All right, 74 woodcutting. Just one more to go. Man, uh, maples are actually really good. Yeah, damn. Look at that. Trim power amulet is so nice because uh, sometimes we got to wear some other amulets. Oh my god, we're gonna be able to two shot. Oh my god, I almost two shot at the aberrants. Whoa, I just got three mahogany seeds. That's actually so good. Holy shit, I'm gonna plant that in Fossil Island. Oh, I got it. Yes. Oh my god, I got the lava battle stuff. Bye bye, earth runes. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, hell yeah. 61 Slayer. Probably the last Slayer level, though. 73, no way. Defense. All right, we're done. We're done. 408 Slayer points, guys. Let's freaking go. All right. Time to make the Slayer home, boys. Learn to combine the protective Slayer headgear and Slayer gem into one universal helmet. Okay. All right. Yes, we did it. Hell yeah. The Slayer home. Oof. It's here. Okay. 
Nice. Now we can put everything in the storage. I'll show you right now. Woo, look at that. One of the best stash units, man. Right now, we don't have to do any combat stuff. So we can just put this away. And yeah, now we're going to clean up Stardust and Brimstone Keys. So Stardust first for the 61 crafting. Oh, there we go. Nice. We want some extra Dragon Stones for glory. So this is good. Oh, there we go. Three. Hell yeah. Give me those extra. All right. And we get a few more. Nice. All right. We got nice. Five extra Dragon Stones. Perfect. That's really good. 60 crafting. One more to go, baby. There it is. 61 crafting, boys. And if we look at Lunar Diplomacy here, it should say we have all the requirements, please. Yes, there we go. We got everything. So, yeah, we're going to work on that very, very soon. 14 Brimstone Keys. Going for the Slayer Helm. Let's see what we get. Oh, rubies. Nice. Dry and dark tips. We are not keeping that, unfortunately. And we got coal again. Definitely going to stick to the mithril method to clean out the uh, coal. If we ever get any, it is very smooth. Nice. 71 smithing. We're closing in on an hour of using up these coal by buying mithril ore and making into mithril plate bodies. And these rates are actually so nice, man. It's basically like Giants Foundry rates. Oh, cool. Check this out, guys. There's another coffer here now. And the cool part about this one is that it can let you deposit any amount. So even that 20 GP, I can keep it. But it only allows you to store two mil though. So you still want to mainly use this one. But yeah, I can use both now. 